One of the really lovely things about Blackmagic's ATEM series of video switches is that they come in almost any price range. From the big 2ME switch we have over here that can take 16 inputs. And for a guy like that we have interfaces like this one with lots of buttons, a real T-bar, etc. If you have this smaller switcher called the ATEM Television Studio, it's a different price range so it's kind of affordable for everyone who want to do HD video live. It has HDMI and SDI inputs, but one of the things that this is lacking is a hardware interface to control it. You can do it for free using software on your laptop, but you can also, now, you can also have one of the score high controllers like this one, which we have made specifically for the television studio. It has exactly the buttons for the inputs that's available, like one to six, it has a cut button, auto button, and then we put in two user buttons, like you can enable the Kia or Media Player One, and we even fitted in a small slider for doing a transition. So that's what this video is about. So we call this the E21 TVS, and it's a fully self-contained unit that will communicate directly with an ATEM television studio. So all we need to do is basically connect the Ethernet cable in the Ethernet plug here at the end, and find a power source, connect that, and you'll now see the unit is initializing itself and in a moment it will be connected to the switcher. So when I press the cut button, you can see on the multi-viewer from the ATEM switcher, you see that preview and program are swapping place. And you also see this reflected on the buttons on the front. So basically we conceive this unit with a preview row and a program row consisting of green and red buttons numbered from one to six because there are only six inputs on this switcher. In addition to that, we have a, uh, an auto button. We also have a slider. So if you look here, you can see when I move the slider, we are making a uh, blend transition between program and preview. And then finally, we have two user buttons that are currently assigned to enabling the upstream key and selecting the source from the media player one. But as you can always do with Skahoy products, you can decide yourself exactly what these buttons should do at no extra cost. When we were researching on the E21 TVS model, we were looking at the buttons we are normally using in our switcher control products. And um, these are the typical buttons you find in many professional great broadcast panels. And uh, it has a really specific tactile feel, which is well known in the industry, etc. They have some drawbacks. They are, are great for the feel, but they also take up some space, uh, which reduces the build height we can achieve. And you cannot have them in smaller sizes than this one. So we really wanted this feel or something with the same quality. Luckily, the same manufacturer of buttons, NKK from Japan, had a series of buttons. They were smaller and they had a lower build height, so they could fit into this very small form factor. That was great. It comes at a cost, and one of the costs is these buttons can only have one background color, for instance, while these ones have a bicolor LED, so you can have red, green, and yellow in the same button. But generally, we feel that we have found a really cool alternative to these traditional buttons to make this panel a reality. So when you want to order your E21 TVS, you need to select between a few options. And one of the things I didn't discuss just yet is the fact that on the side we have a GPIO connector. And you may know this if you have researched tally options for your television studio or ATEM switcher. This is uh, compatible with the Blackmagic uh, GPIO and tally box. So from here you can connect small red lamps you can place on your cameras that will light up red when the camera is live. So we even found a way to squeeze in this kind of thing on the E21. But you can also have it without it. So that's one of the things you need to choose between. Do you want your E21 with buttons and the connector or without the connector? That's the one thing. Actually, you can also go the other way. You can say, hey, I want my E21 without the buttons, but with the GPIO connector on the side. So essentially what you get then is a, an, um, a tally box which has no functionality on it itself. You need to provide everything through the plug. And then finally, 
you may notice that we have different profiles here. So some of these boxes are thicker than the other ones and that's because we put in a different microprocessor in these units. And the reason why we wanted to do that is that with the, the different capacity of these microprocessors inside, we are able to provide you a web interface for configuring your unit. So essentially you can say if you choose this one, you have a product that from the programming is fixed and doesn't give you much flexibility on the set. While if you choose this one, you can have web configurability so each button, each function, each pin on the GPIO connector will be programmable with the drop-down box. Finally, let's take a look at the web interface I just mentioned. And um, to enable the web interface, you need to bring the unit into configuration mode. So what I did here is I connected the unit to my laptop. It could be through a network switch as well, of course. And then I press the reset button while I'm holding in the configuration button. So now the unit will uh, reinitialize and then you'll see it's in configuration mode. So all these nicely colored buttons are just blinking. So in configuration mode, I can now go to a specific IP address, which is always the same for the unit. So um, you will know that already. And uh, when you go there, you see this interface. So in uh, the web interface for any of the Skarhoi devices, you always find the device IP address. So um, you find it here. And then of course, for a unit like this one that's controlling an ATEM television studio, it's relevant to also enter the IP address of the switcher. So this is done right here. But apart from that, all the features you find in the web interface can be fully customized to your unit. And in this case, we have done a lot of configuration of the GPIO connector on the side. So essentially you can select the primary, the secondary and uh, tertiary function of any of the inputs here. So an input is simply triggered by taking a paper clip for instance and then shorting the input to what is called ground which could be like the screw here or one of the, the other pins that will be specified for the connector here. And of course you connect that to something like a foot pedal or um, you know whatever you need to, uh, uh, just a simple button. So um, if you look at the functions that we have envisioned, you can trigger by one of the inputs. It could be, for instance, to bring camera six on program, which is the default here. And for the secondary function, we put in a different list of things like enabling a upstream key or downstream key, etc. So you can do that for any of the eight inputs. If you look further down, you see that we have also specified what should trigger one of the outputs. And the outputs on the connector here is a, a small relay that connects one of the pins to ground. And um, for output number one, uh, this relay will be triggered when input uh, number one, camera one, is on program. So that would, in, in that functionality, that would be like uh, turning on a tally lamp, a little red lamp on top of your camera. So um, really this is just examples because in these web interfaces we can build in any flexibility you want for any feature on your controller. So essentially every single button could have a drop down in the web interface. You could also choose not to have it. That depends on what kind of product you want to build for your customer. And that's one of the reasons why the Skahoi product range is so great for integrators of solutions because you can pick exactly the things you want to be flexible and leave the rest to be fixed in software. And one of the ways to get flexibility is by providing a cool web interface in these small units.